a stadium alive with atmosphere and two teams ready to commit themselves to excellence for 90 captivating minutes. We're privileged to be here on an occasion that resonates with football fans everywhere. And if you think you know who's going to win, you are courageous indeed. Stay tuned, we'll have all the action for you live from London here on EA TV. And a warm welcome from North London. We're at the Emirates Stadium. I'm Derek Ray, and sitting next to me with his tactics charts at the ready is Stuart Robson. And looking forward to bringing you action from the Premier League coming right up. It's Arsenal up against Aston Villa. Well, thanks, Derek. The best coach I've played under would always tell us before kickoff, earn the right to play. If you can win your individual battles, outrun your opponent, eventually you'll get the space to show your ability. I'm sure that's being echoed by the coaches here today. And so the starting 11 for Arsenal. Martin Odegaard plays alongside Declan Rice in central midfield. And the idea is to have just the one striker up there trying to pose problems for the opposition. Here's how the lineup looks for Aston Villa. Douglas Luiz plays alongside John McGinn in central midfield. And the story in attack. Oh, Derek, big moment here. Oh, he couldn't outwit the keeper. Emphasis on the clearance, a good one. Possibilities in the centre. Rice. Ben White. And Trost in there. Oh, heading it narrowly over the top. Havertz has eyes for goal and he's kept it out fully stretched somehow reaching it and taken short can he convert oh he really bruised the crossbar did well to clear it away Timber. Well, Arsenal could easily be leading now. They're certainly looking threatening. You just sense a goal is coming here. Bailey. Ramsey. Well, it's all about passing as they try to hit the front. And delivered into the box. Well, good hands there from the keeper. Yuri and Timber. And here's Saliba. Arsenal a bit wasteful in possession. Havertz must take the lead here. And they have. You've got to say, it has been coming. Well, as you can see, they finished this really easily. They don't give the keeper a chance, do they? That's a good goal. So the match has restarted. 1-0 here. Nice. Moussa Diaby. On to Benjamin Walker, Benjamin Walker, can you please come to Bailey. 
Your wife is waiting. Bailey. Oh, he's given us away. Kai Havertz. Jacob Ramsey. Oh, he's left his marker for dead. And he thwarted the attack with a masterful tackle. What can he do with it now? And he's made headway. Not to be for him. He went for power over placement. Well, you're right. He decided to go for the power, which in the end he couldn't control. He'll be furious with himself. That's a big miss. Rice. Defending. Bodies forward and the break looks on. Now, can they take advantage? He has time to play it over. This could square the game. Tremendous defending to stonewall him. A foul, but no whistle. Instead, advantage with Arsenal. And defensive play to be applauded. Being pressed and pressed high. Bailey. Oh, incredible save. And he snuffed out any sign of danger. White Ben White Another successful intervention winning the ball back Leon Bailey Well that's how to put in a clean tackle Watkins Bailey Very quick thinking there. Martinelli. Havertz. Really fine piece of defending play to break us up. And the referee allowing advantage to accrue to them. Bailey. He read the situation defensively and did his job. And the referee has added on two minutes of stoppage time. Ben White. Behind in the game, but now they have a corner. Over it comes. Under real pressure defensively, will they pay the price? And time is up as far as the first half is concerned here at the Emirates. This man will get most of the plaudits for his contribution up to this point, Stuart. Well, I thought he had a really effective first half. Not only did he get the goal that gave them the lead, but his general play was really good. He was a constant threat, and I'm sure we'll see more of him in the second half. Underway in the second half here at the home of Arsenal. an astute piece of defending Ollie Watkins well breaking at pace is always a possibility 
McGinn, Bailey. This could be the equaliser. But oh, what's an important save. How about that? Well, at least he hit the target, but he should really beat the keeper from there. They should be level now. Played over. Well, the keeper made that look relatively easy. In truth, it wasn't. Effective challenge. A good vision there. Trying to really get at the opposition here. A very timely interception. Marcinelli. And there it breaks down, but credit to the defence. Just have to make sure they don't get caught on the counter-attack. Well, they have to pay attention. And it's played into the centre. A decisive clearance it was. Alex Moreno. Leon Bailey. More than decent passing sequences, but they need a leveller. Chance for the leveller. And he's done it. Parity again. A magnificent game unfolding. Well, here we can see it again. He's shown outstanding vision to find the perfect cutback. And then through on goal, he just goes for power and smashes it past the keeper. There's no stopping that. What a great finish. So underway again, following the goal that made things level. 30 minutes left for play. Well, what can they do to stop him running at them? Preferring to go infield, able to close down the shot. And he's kept it out, fully stretched, somehow reaching it. Who can they pick out? Clear the way. Douglas Luiz. And played in. And the danger's still on. Well, it looks so threatening, but the danger averted. Good work from Villa to win it back. Well, it's been such a good game so far. Chances and goals at both ends, and all played at a great tempo. It's certainly been a good watch. Yes, a tremendously invigorating contest, no doubt. Easy on the eye. Well, that's how to hit them. Not quite accurate enough, though. We'll now make use of the substitutes bench. And a double substitution it's going to be. The defensive intervention there. Bailey. Being pressed and pressed high. And showing fine vision. Well, the fans want to see a shot. Opportunity to take the lead. Well, I have to say, he's done really well here. He's in the right place and then a decent finish. That's a good goal. So on with the match. 2-1 is the scoreline. What's going to happen next? 
Ollie Watkins. Well, that's how to outwit your opponent. Oh, he's through here. Frantic action from one end to the other. They weren't ahead for long, and this match is level again. Well, here's the replay. Watch how he goes past his man with such ease, and it's just a change of pace. And once he gets onto it, he just smashes it past the keeper with great technique. What an emphatic finish that is. And it's level again here. Both sets of fans being put through something of an emotional mangle. Gabriel. And here's Saliba. White. Gabriel Jesus. Possession lost by Villa. Will he play it in? Oh, might be. And the keeper's technical skills there for all to see. Well, from that close in, that's a really good save. Such good reflexes. And a short corner, let's see. Rice. Well, no mistake from the keeper acting decisively. Ten minutes left for play. And pressing from the front. Matty Cash. Diaby. And a throw coming up after a really fine piece of tackling. They've decided that now is the time to go to the bench. Out of play then for a Villa throw in. Cash. Well, they're certainly thinking about a winner. Good looking move this. Zaniolo. Determined defending. Well, breaking at pace is always a possibility. Well, they have to pay attention. The fans are shouting, shoot! Emil Smith-Rowe. Chance here! Well, relying on the goalkeeper. And my goodness, he produced the goods. Yeah, great save at such a vital moment. And deciding to go short with this one. Rice. Well, just narrowly over the crossbar. Good hit, though. Well, as we can see, Arsenal have dominated the ball in the last 15 minutes, not just in terms of possession, but also with the chances they've created. And that winning goal is surely just round the corner. Oh, pressing really high. Now the counter-attack looks on. Diaby. And with that, the attack fizzles out. Well, these fans are driving their team on here, but can Arsenal find a winning goal? Not long left now. Can they forge ahead? Well, they've gone and missed a wonderful chance. Well, with time running out, you couldn't ask for a better opportunity. I just can't see them getting another one now. And with the teams locked together, Arsenal chasing and chasing that winner. Has a go. Foiling his opponent completely. Arsenal's corner late in the game. And short it is. Electing to shoot. And foiled only by the crossbar.
Well, it comes to nothing in the end. And there's the whistle. They can't be separated Everything after 90 you minutes. Want, but you can't have. Number one regret, no day backs. The hole in your chest, that's payback. Payback, yeah, you better take that. You could call me selfish, you critical, I could take the blame. Just like I could take a match and send it up the flame. Don't say I didn't want that. This might hurt, but that's just karma. Mm, better take that. 